Hello, I'm Sharon Weaver. I'm very happy to be included in the California Art Club 112th Gold Medal Exhibition at the Bowers Museum. Um, I have, I, you're, you're seeing my studio right now. Um, I'm working on a number of large paintings. One of them is a commission that I'm doing that's 30 by 40 of Lake Cuomo. But I don't work in the studio all the time. Uh, a lot of my paintings are done plein air and I wanted to show you a few of them. Uh, here's, the first is a eight by 16. And this is of the Carmel Coast up north. It's one of my favorite um, formats is this eight by 16. It's a lot of fun to paint. And it really is interesting um, in how it works with different aspects and different compositions. Because I used it in the, the second painting I'm showing you, which is of the Colorado Bridge in uh, Pasadena. And I did this, this was done right on spot too. I love to paint plein air. I learned from Carl Gempel, who is my, my teacher. And my favorite format, though, for painting plein air is the 11 by 14 that I really enjoy doing. Um, this is a grove of trees up in uh, Will Rogers State Park. And I also want to kind of give you a little bit about my background and, and you know, how I got here. Um, I've always loved art when I, since I was very young, but a really pivotal um, point in my artistic development was attending and graduating from Parsons School of Design. Um, the, the concepts and the ideas that they taught us there, I still use in my paintings today. Um, those concepts have to do with um, good design, simplicity, and balance. And those three things really are needed to create beautiful things, anything beautiful, but especially in a painting. Um, I try to use all three of those things in my painting that is in the gold medal show that's behind me called Moon Over the Sierras. Painting um, was originally uh, inspired when I took a trip up to Mammoth Lakes, and there's a turnoff that you can um, see down the Owens Valley, as you can see right here, down into the Owens Valley, with the Sierra Nevada Mountains on the right lower side. And when I saw this sunset, the beauty of it and the balance of it really captured my, my attention. I love the um, the bright colors are of the sun hitting the um, clouds over on this side, along with the balance of the moon rising behind the clouds and through the clouds on, on the other side. So you have this wonderful kind of balance happening here. There's also you know, a, a, a design element involved where the, the Clouds have a lot of movement, and I tried to capture all of that movement that was happening, as you can see here. Um, so those those elements of balance and simplicity, um, I think, really helped me take the painting into another direction and make it not about the subject so much, but more about the shapes and the um, the balance of the painting. Now, the last ingredient for me, of course, is color, because color is, you know, I love painting with uh, a lot of color and really pushing my colors a little bit so that they're, they're um, uh, um, you know, really fun. And one of the things I love to do is work with complementary colors where they kind of vibrate against each other so that there's movement within the painting. And, and you get a feeling of that in, in this painting. But the ultimate part of of color is that it's color, there's harmony. And um, that's how I, I approach this with a beautiful um, array of the blues going up into the teals and into the darker blues up above in the, in the sky. Um, but even all of these things are only tools for artists to use to express our feelings. And when I saw this sunset and the feeling I had of how divine and, and, and um, glorious it was. 
and the um, enjoyment and enthusiasm that I had with painting it um, was really what I wanted you to experience. So I, I used palette knife. I have some of the areas I'm using um, um, glazes. There are some areas where I actually use my fingers to kind of brush in. You can see I have a lot of very varied um, uh, edges with soft edges and very sharp edges happening within the painting. And I hope that you can, when you see the painting at the show, that you will see how much fun and how exciting this painting was for me to paint. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you at the show and enjoy the exhibition.